In this video, we'll learn to represent discrete data in pie charts. If you haven't already done so, please have a look at the videos on how to represent data in tables, bar charts and line graphs. So pie charts, just like the name suggests, it, it, it does look like a pie. So it is a circle that we'll need to start drawing. So that's the first thing. I'll start with a dot, which is the center of the circle. And I'll actually bring this forward so that we can see it more clearly. And I'll zoom in. So I've got a dot that I'm going to start with, line it up correctly and drawing a circle. So starting from zero, going to 180 and then reversing this turning it upside down so again keeping the center where it is and there we have 0 and 180 just where they need to be so I will now draw the rest of the circle you could use a compass to do this as well so I've got the circle and I've got the center of it as well. So what I'm going to represent is the number of learners doing level one, level two and GCC in year 2018. So it is this column that I'm looking at. So we've got level one, 250, level two, 432 and GCSE, 604 that's out of the total which is 1286 because we're going to need that to work out how many degrees will each of these slices or sectors be represented by so let's start with level one so that is 250 250 out of 1,286. So that's one way of working it out. That's what it is. 250 out of 1,286. So that gives us the decimal. So I'll use a calculator to do that. So we got 250. 250 divided by 1,286 so that gives us the fraction and then we have the decimal so that's what part of the circle level one represents so it is like looking at 20 percent so roughly it's like splitting this circle into five equal parts and almost one part will be represented by level one but we don't want to round the figures here. We don't want to estimate. What we want is the exact number of degrees. So for that reason, that's what part of the circle. And we know that there are 360 degrees in a full circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this by 360. And that gives me the number of degrees. So times 360 gives me... Um, if I round this now, because I have two, that's going to be 70, 70 degrees. So I like to start from the top, but you could start anywhere really. So now I'll line this up. So that needs to go in line with the protractor and that end of the line or the center of the circle should meet with the center of the protractor as well so that's the point there right on top and we need to go to 70 degrees so we got we start from where the line is wherever the base so we go 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and that's where i need to stop 
at 70. Now you can see numbers underneath as well, but we start from zero, just like we do with the ruler. So I will follow the numbers at the top in this case. If my line was here, then I would start in this direction and look at numbers from 0, 10 and so on. So we've stopped here at 70. So we'll just join the two dots together. So that should be what represents level one. So now we'll look at level two. So we'll do uh, exactly the same, follow the same procedure. So go level two is represented by 432 out of 1286, which is a total, times by 360 which is the total number of degrees. So 432 divided by 1,286 times 360. That gives us 121 degrees. So now we'll start from where I finished with level one. So again, lining it up, center match in the center of the circle, and we go from zero, we need to go to 121. So 121 is just here. Again, connecting this with the center. Now, what we have here is the GCSE part, but we want to make sure that we've got it right so I'll do the calculation for GCSE as well, although it's the only one that we've got left. So um, we've got the number of GCSE learners is 604 out of 1,286 times 360. And let's see if it gives us the number of degrees we have here allocated for GCSE. So 604 divided by 1,286 times 360. That gives us 169 degrees. So let's measure this. So, right, so again from 0 to, that's just under 170, which shows that we did the rest of the calculations right as well. So this is the GCSE part. So to make this clear, we would colour them in different colours. So level one, level two, and GCSE. We'd give this a title, so I would say number of learners enrolled on level one, two, and GCSE maths courses at Maths Maths in 2018. So it's very Clear that we're talking about a specific year. So the, the title would be exactly the same one that we used for the table and the bar charts. Now, if we would like to compare two different years using a, a pie chart, what we'd do is next to this we'd have another pie chart representing level one, level two in GCC, just like we did here, but with the 2019 data. And that should show clearly if the sector for level one is larger in one of them, you can see that there are more learners in that particular year. If you'd like to have a go at representing the 2019 or 2018 
data, all three of them.